and I'm back again with another vlog. And for this one, I'm going to be talking about Alexidymia. What is it? Do you have it? Will it kill you? No, just kidding. It won't kill you. It's not an actual diagnosis or a classified mental illness. It's a description of traits that a person can have that makes it difficult to verbalize emotions and to identify and describe their own feelings. Uh, the word alexidymia literally means no words for feelings. Uh, I found this website, which I'll link below, uh, that states alexidymia is a subclinical phenomena. Phenomena. Which I then had to look up the meaning of subclinical phenomena. Phenomena. Thank you. Subclinical means relating to or denoting a disease or illness which is not severe enough to present definite or readily observed symptoms, observable symptoms, I should say. And phenomenon, phenomenon. Every single time, huh? And the other word means a fact or situation that is observed to exist or happen, especially one whose cause or explanation is in question. So putting that all together, alexithymia is a health condition that doesn't have observable symptoms, but it is observed to exist. And the explanation uh, of it is in question. So basically it's not a classified mental disorder, but doctors acknowledge that it is real, but they don't, know a whole lot about it but I, I do know that I definitely have it it describes me perfectly I, I cannot describe what I'm feeling most of the time and even when I can describe it I can't describe it very well I've made videos before about my feelings and expressions or lack thereof so now it, it's nice to know that there's an explanation behind it and uh, a word that I can describe it. There's words for everything. Yeah, I, I should point out that a person does not have to be autistic to have alexithymia uh, and not all autistic people have alexithymia. Uh, I've, I've read that an estimated 10% of people have alexithymia. There's even an online test I found, which I'll also link below, uh, uh, that, that can tell you if you have alexithymia. I, I, I took it and I scored really high on it, but I didn't need to take a test to know if I had alexithymia. All my life I've struggled to describe how I'm feeling. When someone asks me how I'm doing, my answer might be something like, I don't know. Or I'll usually give a short generic answer like I'm good or fine.
fine. Yeah, one person even told me that uh, I say the same thing every time they ask me how I'm doing. <laughs> and yeah, the, that's very true. Lately, I've been trying to expand my vocabulary. So now when I'm asked how I'm doing, I'll say I'm okay or not bad or pretty good. That's uh, what I've expanded to so far. And when someone asks me why I'm feeling uh, the way that I said, I'll usually struggle to come up with an answer. Um, uh, I, uh, uh, so, um, I, so, will. I've said in another vlog that I'll rely on other people to tell me how I feel. Uh, <laughs> that, yeah, I, I know it's confusing. But, like, if um, uh, a person was talking about a situation they were in and it was sim similar to one that I was also in and they say how that made them feel, then I can also... Uh, see if I feel the same way that they felt. I've learned another new word recently, which is malaise, which is a general feeling of discomfort or uneasy, uneasiness whose exact cause is difficult to identify. So now if I'm feeling uneasiness for some reason, then I'll usually just chalk it up to malaise, uh, except for right now at, as I'm making this video. Now I can blame the coronavirus for that. Learning about alexithymia has allowed me to explore why I've struggled to talk about my emotions and talking in general. I have a hard time just, you know, talking. For me, actions have always spoken louder than words. Uh, I, I, I can see emotions better, uh, like, like see a, a person who's angry or sad or happy that that's easier for me uh, and also for me to the, express my feelings with actions rather than words that's that's a lot easier but learning how to describe my emotions uh, can be helpful like if I have a problem with someone who's doing something I don't like, then I can explain to them uh, uh, what they're doing and how it makes me feel. So then the, the problem can get solved uh, easier. So, so yeah, yeah, that's, Alexa die me, uh, um, Alexa die me, uh, yeah, yeah, I have to say every syllable, uh, to get it pronounced correctly, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, that's gonna be it for this vlog, so until next video, goodbye. And the other word means, oh no, my light.